Hey everyone, this is a VHS and CD update video for February 22nd, 2020. I have a lot of stuff to go through, so let's get started right now. September 18th, 1994. Number 88, and the print date is November 30th, 2001, even though this is originally a 2000 VHS. <laughs> has the blue lid on it. Number 53, and the print date is July 5th, 2002. Printed one day after the 4th of July in 2002. And up next I got two uh, Spanish tapes. <laughs> See, it says, version en espanol, dobleda. And also says it on the spine as well. Number 52, and the print date is September 11th, 2002. So print exactly one year after 9-11 happened. Yep. This is Disney en Espanol. And, it's, and it has the uh, Spanish Walt Disney Recipes Collection logo. Walt Disney Colección Maestra. <laughs> Number one, 
and the print date is March 5th, 1999. So that was just three days after my birthday in 1999. Even though I wasn't born for another year, obviously. That's the, la that's the last uh, regular clamshell. I also have one tape in a smaller uh, plastic clamshell. And this is a Warner Brothers Special Edition tape. Yep. I, fi I finally got the uh, Warner Brothers Special Edition print of uh, Elvis. That's the way it is. I do have the uh, 1997... Uh, MGM release, part of the uh, Elvis uh, commemorative collection edition, collection uh, releases. But I've been trying to find this uh, Warner Brothers special edition copy for a while, and now I finally have it. So yeah, very excited to now have the Warner Brothers special edition print of this film, finally. Special features before the movie are original theatrical trailer and all-new restoration documentary, Patch It Up, The Restoration of Elvis, That's the Way It Is. Yep. The film itself is from 1970, and this is a 2001 VHS. And right here it says, Elvis Presley's recordings are available on the RCA Records label, a unit of BMG Entertainment. And on this tape, the uh, feature, the run times of the movie and the extras are listed separately. The feature itself runs 95 minutes, but the extras are 11 minutes, so... Uh, altogether, the total run time of this whole tape would be... The, uh, run time of, the total run time of this whole tape with the uh, feature and the bonus content together would be, 100, would be about 106 minutes. <laughs> Number 11, and the print date is January 29th, 2001. Alright, so now into some slip cake. Now into the cardboard slipcover tapes that I got. This is from WHYY. Yeah, this is from uh, WHYY in uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Yep, it's a 1995 release. Straight by WHYY Incorporated. So I'm assuming... I'm assuming uh, WHYY is probably like a local uh, TV uh, station. Oh, here, yeah, here it is. A WHYY TV slash Philadelphia production. So yeah, this is from a local uh, Philadelphia like TV station. It's a documentary done by this done by this uh, TV studio. So yeah, this is this looks like a pretty cool documentary. I might have to watch this tape at some point. There is absolutely no printing, no printing or anything on this tape whatsoever.
the next two tapes are still sealed. This is a Warner Brothers Cheesy Shield tape, and this one's part of the special interest uh, genre. program itself is from 1990 and this is a 1990 VHS. <laughs> Any profits occurring to Time Warner Inc. from this program will be given to the People of the Earth Foundation. So, yep. And this tape does not have the recyclable uh, logo but it does say right here printed on recycled paper. So yeah that's kind of different. All right, so we're going to get this out of the shrink wrap. And there's it's already kind of coming open right here, so we're going to see if we can just tear the rest tear into the rest of this. All right, here we go. There we go. I'm just going to rip the rest of the uh, shrink wrap off. There we go. All right. So. And yep, there is an end label on this tape and if you look closely there is, it. this tape does have two print dates on it, and the first one, it the one on the bottom is, like, actually going into the part where the recording tab was at one point. So, yep, so it looks like the first print date is, has, starts with the month of August. So this was probably printed in some... So this was obviously printed sometime in August of 1990. Yeah, I, I don't know if... I mean, I could try to peel back the end label. You know what? Let me see if I can peel back the end label to reveal a print date. Unfortunately, the first print they got a little faded, but okay, it looks like. Hang on, guys. Looks like the print dates are August 8th and August 9th, 1990. So yeah, I'm going to say August 8th and August 9th, 1990 are the print dates on this tape. So yeah. Alright. Here's the other sealed tape that I got. This is by a company called Creative Light Video. Yep. 
This is from 2001. Alright. And this one's... And this... And this one also we can probably just open very easily. There we go. Just rip into this thing. Alright. So, so I... So I didn't even need these uh, scissors this time. has the number 22 right there and this tape does have the those uh that those uh printings with the barcode and the numbers on them but as per usual with these I don't see a print date anywhere and it comes with this ad for other releases from uh Creative Light Video advertises something called Suckers, The Highline, Sammyville, uh, things things to do on a rainy day, and also advertise these other titles: uh, Sex and Bullets, Extreme Force, and The Adventures of Cinderella's Daughter, which apparently has uh, Shirley Jones as the uh, fairy godmother. That's in that's interesting. So yep, and on the back, uh, it's got an ad for a cup for the uh, Sid Caesar collection of sets, the Sid Caesar collection, and uh, the Sid Caesar collection, the fan favorites, which yeah, I, I believe I I know I have uh, this Sid Caesar this is Sid Caesar box set right there, I. Do not believe I have the fan favorites one, but I'm probably going to find that one at some point now. So yeah, that's a pretty cool uh, little advertisement. All right. So. Let's keep on going with some more tapes here. Oh. Alright, so... Sorry guys, my uh, foot there was kind of cramping up for a second. Alright, so continuing on. This has somebody's uh, address sticker on it. Why did I get another copy of this tape, you might be wondering? It's because this copy... This copy is an SP mode copy. My other copy of this tape was an EP mode copy. But this is an SP mode copy. There was a uh, sticker... There was another uh, address sticker right here on the bottom, but I peeled it off. The print date is July 23rd, 1993. See, so, yep, this is an SP mode copy. Unlike my other copy, which was an EP mode copy. So I'll probably just replace my EP mode copy with this SP mode copy. Alright. Up next are two uh, screener copies. As per usual, you know what to do if you want to read the 
info on the back of this uh, screener copy tape. Yep, coming soon to video and DVD. <laughs> Got the, it's got some uh, printings right there. The 25th week of 2002. Yep, this is a Paramount screener tape. Has the this screen that says being provided to you courtesy of Paramount Home Video. And also has this other uh, stamp on it too. For promotion is only not for sale, rental duplication, or public performance. Yep, the back cover of this is the same thing as the uh, the regular retail VHS. Night Night 3 tape. Someone by someone by the name Stevens used to have this tape. But it's my but it's my tape now, obviously. got those dark red printings on the bottom so obviously we know what this will have at the end huh. the 21st week of 1993 so yep got some prints on the side right there as well as the number seven and just like the mind meld tape that I just showed you this also has uh, these uh, barcode and number uh, ink printing on the top and this one it actually like says the title right there it says Perot Her Hercule but as per usual, there's no print date. And someone wrote P158 on the back there. For some reason. Triple feature premiere episodes. <laughs> This is an MTM home video tape. So yeah, this contains the first three episodes of the uh, series, The Duck Factory. Which the episodes are Goodbye Buddy, Hello Skip, 
Filling Buddy's shoes and the Annie's. So, yep. Unfortunately, this tape is kind of coming apart right here. As you can see, it's got like a, it's got a bit of a crack or something right there. There you go. It does have a crack right there, and yeah, unfortunately, it is kind of starting to come apart, so that's kind of unfortunate, but hopefully the tape will still play okay. I can always, if I really want to, I could always just try to put this in another uh, tape shell. But yeah, and this tape is an EP mode. So yeah. Up next, I got. Up next, I got two uh, Alfred Hitchcock uh, Hallmark releases. These are both uh, Hallmark Home Entertainment tapes, co-produced by uh, Samuel Goldwyn and the Rank Organization. Here's this one, which is "The Lady Vanishes." Yep, it says Alfred Hitchcock, the Rank Organization presents. Yep. The film itself uh, the film itself is from 1938 and this is a 1995 VHS. Uh, if you look, it does say uh, EP right there, but this tape is actually recorded in SP mode. As you can tell by the amount of film inside this tape. So yeah, this tape is in SP mode, not EP mode. Number 62, and this was put in the 42nd week of 1995. And here's the other Alfred Hitchcock Hallmark tape that I got, which is the 39 Steps. Yep, Alfred Hitchcock, The Rank Organization Presents. And both this and The Lady Vanishes are both uh, public domain titles. Uh, this, the film itself is from 1935, and this is another 1995 VHS. This one says SP on it. Right there. And this one is in SP mode as well, just like Lady Vanish's tape. It's got the number 5 right there. And this is a later reprint, printed in the third week of 1998. It, which explains why this one has the uh, the newer Hallmark Home Entertainment logo on the uh, spine, as opposed to Lady Vanishes, which has the older Hallmark Home Entertainment logo. All right. All right. Got a. Got. A Few more, got a bunch more tapes to go through still. Thought I'd get this tape for uh, collecting purposes. This did have a sticker on the side that said Special Priced Edition. Unfortunately, the uh, sticker has been uh, half 
torn off, unfortunately. Has been half peeled off, unfortunately. So, yep. This is a 1981 Media Home Entertainment tape. I think this might actually be the very first home video release of this movie. So, yep, and of course, since there's no more media tape, it opens up from the bottom. Tan lid on this tape. And it says 1984 on the label, so this is obviously a later reprint. There's the end label. So yeah. Yeah, this so yeah, this tape's in really good condition for its uh for its age. So yeah, I decided to get this tape just for the uh even though even though I have this movie a few times over in my uh VHS in my uh Christmas VHS collection, uh I decided, I decided to just get this tape for uh, collecting purposes because it's a really cool media release and it's in really good shape for its age. So yeah, and I know there's also a uh, a uh, Hell Roach Studios VHS of this movie with the uh, original poster art in the front, which I hope to get that printing at some point. And then after that, after I get that, after I get that printing, I'll probably have I'll probably have enough. I'll probably have all the v the uh, VHS versions of It's a Wonderful Life. I would probably want for my uh, collection. So yeah. This is a Anchor Bay tape co-produced by Video Treasures. The film's from 1986, and this is a 1996 Anchor Bay slash Video Treasures tape. Duplicated in EP mode. Oh. Yep, and this is the sequel to the 1976 uh, film version of King Kong. It says read PG-13 on the back cover. No print date or anything on this tape. Alright, so... All right, let's keep going. This is from a this is from a company called Facets Video. Yep, this is from the African American Film Heritage Video Series. See, so yeah, this is a uh, Western starring starring uh, all African American uh, cowboys. This is a 1939 film, and this, oh, originally this was a 1994 VHS, however, 
this copy is actually a later reprint. Because if you look, it says 2002 on the tape label. So yeah, originally this was a originally this was a nice high four VHS. However, this copy is actually a 2002 reprint. So yeah, and this tape does have the oversized reels on it. And this tape does have a recording tab, which I will now break off. There we go. Yep, so it even says right there, all colored cast. This is the original version of Man the Iron Mask. Film classic series, now in full color. So yeah, unfortunately this is the color version of the film, but... You know, it's better than nothing, I guess. And also a Video Treasures tape. This is a Video Treasures tape co-produced by Broadway Video. Uh, the film itself is from 1939, and the color version of this movie was made in 1989. And this is a 1990 tape. Duplicated in LP mode. It says 1989 on the uh, tape label. Alright. Next two tapes are Good Times tapes. Uh, the film itself is from 1961, and oddly enough, it does not say what year this tape was from, but I'm going to assume this is probably like a 1986 or probably, probably a 1986 Good Times tape. Yeah, I think this tape was probably from 1986. That'd be... That'd be my assumption. Again, this one has the recording tab, and I think I might actually need the scissors for this one. Usually these older uh, Good Times tapes, you need uh, scissors to get the recording tab off. There we go. Alright. And, like I always say, we all know what this will have at the end since the Good Times tape. Alright. So and the other Good Times tape I got is a Hollywood Movie Greats collection tape.
the film itself is from 1970, and this is a 1987 Good Times tape. So it's a Universal picture, so this must be one of the Universal movies that Good Times bought the home video rights to. Again, it does have the recording tab on it, and I will also use the scissors for this one, too. Ah, crap. There we go. All right. And... Once again, we all know what this will have at the end since the Good Times tape. Alright. This is another uh, Roy Rogers movie, part of the Republicans All-American All Heroes series from Republican Pictures Home Video. The film itself is from 1949, and this is a 1991 Republic Pictures Home videotape. <coughs> Excuse me. February 13th, 1995. One day before Valentine's Day in 1995. And this was a phone rental from the video shop. All right, next one's a Paramount tape. Uh, the film itself is from 1969, and this is a 1990 tape. Uh, labels, labels themselves say 1992 on it, so this is a 1992 reprint. Forty fifth week of night night two. Here's the barcode here's the barcode here's what the barcode looks like on this tape. Uh leave comments down below what kind of closing you guys think this tape will have, uh judging by the barcode on this tape. Alright, the next three tapes are Columbia TriStar tapes.
This film is also from 1969. And this is a Night's Night 8 VHS. And this movie is also rated PG. So, this is, so that's two movies I got today that are 1969 movies that are rated PG. Uh, the other one, the, and those two are Goodbye Columbus, which I just showed you, and then this movie too. Although, for some reason, the the label says 1987 on it, even though this is a 1998 VHS. Number 23. Uh, the 10th week of 1998. And unfortunately, the barcode sticker on this tape has been peeled off by somebody else. So yeah, unfortunately, the barcode sticker is missing on this tape, but that's okay. It's still better than nothing. This is the Columbia Tri-Star print of Midnight Express. I do have the Good Times copy of this film, but obviously I would much rather have the Columbia Tri-Star print than the uh, Good Times print. So yeah, now I have the Columbia Tri-Star print of this film. So obviously I will be replacing my Good Times copy of this movie with this much better Columbia Tri-Star print. Yeah, the film itself is from 1978, and uh, this is a 1993 Columbia TriStar Home Video VHS. This tape has a little bit of mold on it, but it should still play okay, but with some minor damage. And this one also has a label that says 1987 on it. Number 30, and printed on the 18th week of 1998. And the next one is a Columbia, is a, uh, Columbia Classics tape. This one also has some person's uh, address sticker on it. The film itself is from 1942, and this is a 1990... Either 1992 or 1993 VHS. I can't really read it. Uh... Hang on, guys. I'm trying to read this. Yeah, I believe this is a 1992 VHS. So, yeah, 1942 film, and I believe this is a 1992 tape. And once again, this one also has a label that says 1987 on it. number 31, and this tape is a much later reprint. The 46th week of 1999. Alright. Got three more, well, technically four more tapes uh, left.
This was uh, Steve Martin's uh, film starring debut. 1979 film, and this is a 1991 MC Universal Home Video VHS. The tape itself uses uh, MCA Home Video labels that say uh, 1986 on them, however. No number on the bottom, oddly enough. And this is a later reprint, print on the 42nd week of 1995. So... So, so yeah, we're in the same. So, so this has the. So this tape has the same weekend year code as uh, the Lady Vanishes tape that I showed you earlier. Next one's an MGM tape. Uh, the film itself is from 1980, and this is a 1991 VHS. It's an MGM, and this film is a black and white movie with a color sequence. MGM tape co-produced by United Artists. This tape, this tape also has just a little bit of mold on it, but... It should still play okay, but with some minor damage. Print date is June 16th, 1992. Alright. And the last VHS I got is actually a two-tape set. And this is a Warner Brothers Classics tape. This might be replacing my uh, standard MGM UA home video VHS print of this uh, copy of this movie. Special features before the movie are original theatrical trailer, also included the original 1936 premiere engagement overture, enter act A and exit music, rejoins the film for the first time in over 60 years. Wow. Total runtime is 176 minutes. And this does have the Recyclable logo on here. 1936 film, and this is a 1999 VHS. So yeah, this, so yeah, this might be replacing my MGMUA home video uh, VHS copy of this film. Maybe. I gotta check, compare this one to my uh, MGM copy. See if there's any uh, differences. Here's tape one and tape two. Uh, for tape 1, the number is 97, and the print date is September 15th, 1999. And for tape 2, the number is 84, and it has the same print date as tape 1, September 15th, 1999. And, yep, it's got WHV on both uh, tapes. So, yeah. Alright, so those are all the VHS tapes that I got, and then as far as what CDs I got, I, uh, I got four. I got four CDs, and I will just name them off quickly. So the four CDs I got were, uh, A Christmas with Kelly's Heroes, which is a, uh, local release from, uh, Rochester, New York. A, uh, Christmas with Nat King Cole and Rosemary Clooney, uh, two CD set. 
uh, Sounds of Summer, The Very Best of the Beach Boys, and the American, the An American in Paris original motion picture soundtrack uh, two CD set by uh, Rhino Movie Music and Turner Classic uh, Movies uh, Music. So yeah, all right. So that's it for this update video, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good one, guys.